My name is Paulina Jaramillo. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Engineering and Public Policy in the College of Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University. My broad research interest is energy and environmental sustainability. More recently, I've become really interested in issues related to energy access in the developing world. Billions of people around the world do not have access to reliable or clean sources of energy, and this hinders quality of life, economic development, and well-being in general. Without energy, um, children, for example, cannot study at night, or hospitals cannot have medication stored because there's no refrigeration. A concern with providing access for these billions of people is environmental sustainability. Climate change, for example, is the big challenge. It's just not possible for billions of people to start using fossil fuels and increasing their level of consumption and also meeting targets. I currently have two students working on this. This is a new effort for me. I have a student that is starting his third year in the PhD program. He's a member of the Navajo Nation. He is interested in how do we develop energy and provide energy access in the Navajo Nation. Something like 30% of the population in the Navajo Nation does not have access to electricity. They rely on traditional sources of energy, uh, charcoal, for example, or also kerosene, which is very expensive. I also have a student that arrived earlier this year. He spent two years in Burkina Faso as a Peace Corps volunteer and then lived in South Africa for a couple years and worked on energy development projects. One of the challenges with energy development in areas that are very poor is that the customers don't have the uh, paying power. So there's not much of an incentive for private investment when there's no customers that can pay. Africa has a very strong telecommunication infrastructure. They leapfrogged into cell phones and everyone has cell phones, which means there are cell phone towers all over the continent. Cell phone tires require electricity and they currently produce their own electricity on the site. He's looking at the possibility of developing microgrids that are anchored around the load for the cell phone towers, but building out to the communities around the cell phone towers. There are billions of people that don't have access to clean water or to other types of infrastructure. And so the College of Engineering at CMU has the expertise to address those challenges. I think that um, if CMU wants to remain relevant in educating and doing research for meeting the challenges of the 21st century, we have to look at the developing world.